हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी और एस सी पी एम वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर एट इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्ट्रेटेजिक परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट दैट फॉर्म बेस ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एट टू चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन इंक्लूडिंग चैप्टर्स लाइक ट्रांसफर प्राइसिंग देन स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग देन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर देन द पब्लिक सेक्टर ऑल दो थिंग्स लेट मी ऑल्सो जस्ट रिमाइंड यू वी आर डूइंग एवरी पॉसिबल एम सी क्यू विद डिटेल लॉजिक्स ओके वी आर नॉट जस्ट ट्राइंग टू बी सींग द फाइनल आंसर वी आर ट्राइंग टू डिस्कस लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो दे फोर लाइक यू नो दिस ऑल्सो एक्स एज अ रिविजन फॉर यू ऑल फॉर द चैप्टर्स दैट आर देर इन योर सिलेबस रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू ज्वाइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड इन केस समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू टेक अप द इंटायर कोर्स वेयर बाई वी हैव कवर्ड एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल्स ओके द लिंक ऑफ दैट इज देर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट स्टार इट ऑफ Which of the following is not a limitation of complex business structure in measuring and in evaluating performance? So we have to say which is not a limitation. Okay, give me the four options, please. Lack of information. Okay, disagreement on objectives, legal aspect, uh, cultural conflicts. Okay, in case your chapter is over, time for you to be commenting the correct answer. Okay, so now, what is a complex business structure? To give you some examples, okay, the basic one, say strategic alliances. In India, there was a company called as Fiat. Everybody will be knowing about that. They had a strategic alliance with Tata. Strategic alliance does not mean a partnership. It means that you give something and we give something in return. Joint venture is basically partnership for a temporary period to accomplish some objective. Franchising, I guess you all know. Whereby, like you know, say that companies like uh, say Delhi Public School, they all give a franchisee, and then you try to take that franchisee, pay a fees to them, one-time fees also, and some kind of a uh, sharing in the profits or in the revenues. You have licensing whereby you can use name of another company and try to manufacture and sell the products in their name. Example, Marvel Company. Everybody will be knowing about that. Okay, like there are companies in India who have taken license. from marvel whereby they manufacture the toys okay and do branding of marvel so we all try to be thinking that these are manufactured by marvel only okay you have the multinationals and you have complex supply chains now these are some of the examples that are there to give you an example of say one of them say joint ventures joint ventures say that maruti and suzuki maruti is a indian company suzuki is a japanese company they have a joint venture in india to produce cars now there are problems because maruti might not want to be giving entire information to suzuki and vice versa also apart from that the point b over there there could be disagreement on objectives one of the partners of joint venture could be very aggressive suppose they want to capture more market share other partner could be to have higher profits so one would like to be saying let's try to have lower pricing to capture more market share other guy will be saying no let's try to keep a premium pricing so therefore our profits are higher there could be those problems the cultural conflicts now this is a very big problem especially whenever two companies which are different com completely see that again say uh, maruti and suzuki one of them is a indian company one of them is a japanese company now japanese companies the work styles are very different okay everybody agrees agrees to their boss they exactly do whatever the boss says it's like like you know patthar ka lakeer has we all call in hindi like whatever the boss says i'm going to be doing that okay in jap in japan that is a culture in india we all don't listen to our bosses also there is one thing like you know we keep on cribbing we keep on saying like you know tu boss hoga apne ghar ke upar hoga and so on so there are cultural conflicts that happen like you know these are the problems whenever two companies which are there from different background okay those companies face example say tata and reliance if they ever merge you know it'll be difficult for that new organization to be surviving because of the cultural conflicts legal aspects is not a problem to be very honest okay like you know it is not something that will uh, actually destroy the organization legal aspects will always be there only but it is not a problem of fight because it is something that you all cannot do anything about it you all have not created those conflicts those are the legal conflicts okay so out of the four options which one is not a limitation so therefore legal aspects is not here like i'll give a small example say that if you talk of a multinational company like say a uh, lever group in india you have uh, hindustan lever hindustan uh, unilever group same way 
यूनिलीवर ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट इन मेनी कंट्रीज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड यू नो वेन एवर दे आर गोन टू बी डूइंग द कंसोलिडेशन एट दैट टाइम देर विल बी लीगल प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक यू नो द रिपोर्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क इन इंडिया एंड सिंगापुर आर नॉट सेम सो देर फॉर देर विल बी प्रॉब्लम्स ओके बट दैट इज नॉट अ बिग प्रॉब्लम एज सच ओके लाइक यू नो that will not destroy the organization every multinational company will be knowing about these particular things and they will resolve it so i don't think so legal aspect is a problem okay lack of information could be disagreement on objectives could be cultural conflicts can also be but legal aspect is not a problem okay even if it is you all have to try to resolve it due to that organization will not go down here so answer should be c over here yeah that's the correct one i'll see you next time with another mcq happy learning bye take care